the United States of America is without any question whatsoever the most important strategic ally of the state of Israel in the world today without any question whatsoever the United States of America is the country which is supporting Israel with the greatest amount of financial assistance and material assistance. The United States of America is the country which has a strategic military alliance with the state of Israel. And so, I have come to the conclusion that the jar in a day which is like a month is no longer in Britain. Britain now has to give way to another country. Britain was the superpower. Britain was ruling the world. But now another country mysteriously, strangely, inexplicably takes over from Britain as the ruling power in the world and the strategic ally of the state of Israel. This is the United States of America. When did it happen? Now we're going to test your knowledge of international affairs. When did it happen? I think you would agree with me, number one, that the Second World War would be the turning point, clearly. Because in the Second World War, all the Allied troops on the continent of Europe, which were fighting Hitler, were under one command. Was it a British general? Huh? No, who is it? General Eisenhower, an American general. And so here is tangible evidence that the United States has now taken over from Britain as a senior partner. Evidence number two. At the end of the Second World War in 1945 the, the international community came together in a conference in Bretton Woods in upstate New York to create a new international monetary system. Prior to this Britain, London was the financial capital of the world ever since the Bank of England was established maybe 200 years earlier. London was the financial capital of the world. And the ruling currency in the world was the British sterling pound. His Majesty the sterling pound. But now at Bretton Woods something strange happened. The Bretton Woods Agreement confers upon the U.S. dollar the status of the ruling currency. And the Bretton Woods Agreement confers upon Washington the status of the financial capital of the world. Because the International Monetary Fund is now located in Washington. The British didn't like that at all. The World Bank is located in Washington. The British didn't like that at all. So here is the second tangible evidence that Britain has now conceded and the United States has now taken over as the ruling power in the world. And then came a third and even more dramatic evidence.
1952, a revolution took place in Egypt. And the Egyptian king, Farouk, was overthrown by the military. The military put General Muhammad Naguib, or Najib, as the president. But he was like a figurehead, really, because there were a group of officers who really controlled the thing. Muhammad Naguib remained as the president from 1952 until 1956. But in 1955, there was a very important conference of Asian and African states which took place in a city in Indonesia. Which one? Bandung. I was in Bandung two weeks ago. Bandung, water in Ka Bandung, very cold. When you take your bath in the morning, very cold water. At the Bandung conference, it is not Muhammad Naguib who goes to represent Egypt, but rather a man named Gamal Abdel Nasser. That's a sign of who is in charge. The next year, 1956, Gamal Abdel Nasser replaces Muhammad Naguib as the president of Egypt. Shortly after that, same 1956, he nationalized the Suez Canal. Who built the Suez Canal? The French. Ferdinand de Lesseps was the French engineer. And then the French and the British came together in a joint control of the Suez Canal. Gamal Abdel Nasser nationalizes the Suez Canal, removes the French and British troops which were there, and Egyptian troops now take control of the Suez Canal. This is as plain and as clear an act of defiance and of confrontation with Britain as you could possibly find. In order for Britain to have any vestige of a claim to be a superpower, Britain has to respond, must respond. Well, what Britain did was, strangely, mysteriously, Britain kept the United States out. And the British and the French joined with Israel and these three countries invaded Egypt. They landed in Suez and they took control of Suez. And the Israeli army swept through the Sinai Peninsula and took control of the whole of Sinai. And the Israeli army reached to the Suez Canal. General Dwight Eisenhower said, no, I will not allow this. Go back. Can you tell Britain that? Withdraw your troops, go back. Will Britain obey? Sir Anthony Eden was the British Prime Minister. Guess what Britain had to do? Huh? Britain had to withdraw its troops. And France had to withdraw its troops. And the state of Israel had to withdraw its troops back to Israel. Because the American president said, no, I will not permit it. Go back. So here you have the third, the most dramatic of all evidence that the United States of America has now taken over from Britain as the ruling power.